Hello everybody, Joel here. I am in Duluth, Minnesota and just had some time here to take some video so I thought I would and get something posted up on the on the site. So you can see in the background behind this little tiny lift bridge, it's basically a little pedestrian walkway, bicycling walkway um, that lifts up for the boat slips here. There's some sailboats in this boat slip. Uh, you can see over across the way there, there's some gals having a sailing lesson. Looks like they're getting ready to head out on the water here shortly. But there are a couple of nice sailboats moored in this location. And this nice little lift bridge opens up for them. But then you've got the big lift bridge in the background. And that thing is phenomenal. It's pretty old. And anytime a ship comes into the harbor here, uh, that thing rises up. Even those little sailboats, anytime a little sailboat goes through, it rises up. But the reason I wanted to get some video right here is this beauty. The William A. Irvin uh, is a ship that is docked right here for tourist purposes. And it is just a fantastic, um, fantastic boat to take a tour of. They've, uh, they've totally refurbished it. It was in dry dock for a couple of years and they dredged out this, uh, this channel or this little docking area the past couple of years. Uh, took the sediment out and they've got this thing back in now this year. And I would love to get in there and have a tour. They're closed right now. But um, you just take a look at the sheer size of the anchor and the propeller on this thing is just phenomenal. I'll get a shot here of that. Uh, here's the anchor. Um, I don't know what I could do to get some scale on that. Well, looking over here, maybe that helps. Just having my shadow there. It's my shadow. It's a six o'clock shadow. Um, that's the anchor for the William A. Irvin. And you can see the prop. The prop is about half submerged in the water. Uh, that thing is just gigantic. And the rudder itself has got to be, it's got to be about 20 feet, I'm guessing. Um, could be wrong. But it is tied down with this uh, rope to a 65 ton anchor. It's labeled here. These new anchors they put in. You can see that says 65 ton there. But this is just a fantastic ship to be able to tour. It's an old U.S. steel boat. You can see the marking up on the stack. We'll just take a little walk down along it here. It's blocking the wind so it's not quite as uh, not quite as windy. I wanted to take a little video over on the lakeside uh, so you can see the big water but it is really windy over there and the sound just would have been terrible. But Duluth is hopping. We're right in the middle of the pandemic and I've been able to have uh, hit some restaurants here. They are uh, they're open for business and I think last Wednesday where I had dinner last Wednesday was when they opened up. There are still some closed down. Some of the walkways Skyway system is closed down. Um, but you can see how long this boat is. It is forever. I'm walking along at a pretty good clip here. But when they're having tours, you enter in through these staircases. Uh, my wife and my son and I took a tour probably about 17 years ago on this ship before it was refurbished, obviously. And um, it was really fun. I should have been better prepared and had some of the history on it, but it is the William A. Irvin. It's docked up here in Duluth. It is a tourist attraction. You can look it up pretty easily. But we'll get all the way up here to the front. I stay in a hotel just across the way. I've got a good view of the harbor from the hotel room on the 15th floor and I miss this for the past couple of years it wasn't here let me zoom back out a little bit 
I guess I am zoom about all the way. I miss seeing this every time I would come to town. So I'm glad it's back. Here's another 65 ton anchor point. And of course they have the, uh, the ship anchors are just out for decoration. Obviously they're not really holding much. You can see that one is all slacked out. Well, it looks like this one may be tied in there pretty good. It's pretty taut, that chain. That's up there a ways. Just a beautiful ship. It'd be fun to take a tour of it again and see what uh, improvements they may have made on it over the past couple of years. But anyways, I thought it would be kind of neat to show off this, uh, this jewel of Duluth Harbor, the William A. Irvin. Uh, something fun for those of you that would never get a chance to get up here just to see the outside of it and the sheer size of it. But thank you for watching.